Justice is a game. Just like a game where you play doctor and the other boy takes advantage of you and you block it out for years. It takes money to play the game right. And if you run out of money, you run out of justice and straight into therapy. In this court, I am the law. I'm Judge Grady. And this is Just or Unjust. The scripted drama of a court show. But I'm the mother of his son. That doesn't mean he can't get some on the side. The injustice of an American courtroom. Somebody give me head and I'll waive the charge. The tension of a desperate network trying to stave off its own self-imposed death rattle by making a mockery of our justice system. But he put me in a wheelchair and I've got to save the world in the next half hour, including commercials. I'm tired of your fake sob stories. How? am I supposed to believe you lost your legs? Now we are out of here, Lieutenant, before I push you down the stairs myself. All packed together with the incredible excitement of a game show. Okay, you have ten seconds to tell the truth or you'll be set on fire. This isn't fair! <laughs> Welcome to American Justice, lady. <laughs> this is Just or Unjust with Judge Grady. It's the hard world of radio justice. Real plaintiffs and defendants in a radio court of law. Today, we've got Allen versus Davis, case 465. Okay, I read your opening statements. Let's get going. Before me is LeVar Davis and Angela Allen. You two used to be in a relationship. And Miss Allen is suing you for $5,000 to fix damages to her car you did with a baseball bat? Mr. Davis, can you explain yourself? Your Honor, that female is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like the truth to me. Court is adjourned. Hey, you're not even going to hear my side of it? Oh, well, shit. We got some time to kill. Why not? Approach the bench, Miss Allen. Okay, yes, Your Honor. Now sit on my lap. Um, okay. There, there. Isn't that better? Now tell me what happened to you, baby, while I stroke your back. Well, I was together with LeVar for a year, and he started acting real crazy. Hey! What are you doing? Oh, shh, woman, woman, shh, calm down. I'm soothing you. It's part of the legal process. Now, Mr. Davis. Yes, Judge Grady. I mean, we were together for a while. She was fine. She carries herself well. She's got big uh uh's, if you know what I mean. She sure does. I'm feeling them right now. Hold still, girl. But she's evil and a cheater. She scratched my brand new truck. I needed a truck because I'm an accountant. Is that so? You scratched his truck? His new accountancy truck? The kind of truck a man who works in an office buys so he can feel like a man again? What kind of woman scratches a man's truck? That's his manhood you're scratching. The very essence of his masculinity. He sits outside my house all times of the night. He's out there in the morning watching me. I go to the store, he's peering at me through sprunk bottles on aisle seven. I'm not a stalker, Your Honor. Not after my last conviction. I'm just trying to get some information. These are fact-finding missions. What kind of information? Uh, like who she's screwing so I can kill him. You see, Your Honor? He's psychotic. He's... Hey, what are you touch? Why are you touching my hair? It sure is lovely. So tell me, Mr. Davis, what did you do then? Well, I was really mad about my truck, so I went to my quiet place after my yoga class, meditated, deep breathing, and then I kind of accidentally beat all the windows out of her car with a baseball bat, peed in the front seat, slashed the tires, and took a dump in the air filter. You shit in the air filter? Ah! <laughs> Give it up, my man. That's cold. Yeah, so every time she turns on the air conditioner, her car smells like my shit. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's ingenuity right there. That's what got us out of the primordial soup and into luxury condos with plasma TVs and robotic dogs. Good going. I like your style. Now, see, girl, that's why you are the undisputed week of sex and we are humiliating you on the radio. Name one woman wrestler who's any good. Name the first woman on the moon. Ah, trick question. Name one woman pro football player. How many women wrote Shakespeare's plays? Answer me. You can. And you are going to have to go through life as the week of sex. I mean, tell me, girl, did you deserve all this? No, I mean, he owes me. He's got a good job, and I had his child. You two have a baby? Yes, Your Honor, we did, but I tried to do the right thing and push her down the stairs, like you recommended on one of your shows. But she had it anyway, and then I tried to sell it on the Internet. Good deal. Miss Allen? He acted like he isn't the father. I had to do everything on my own. I did 
didn't sleep for six months. You're a terrible mother. I can tell by listening to you. But I love my son. When I met her, I was 24. She said she was 23, but she was really 13. No, I didn't. I told you I was 13. Well, they sound alike. You told me it was okay because you were from South Carolina. How do I know it's my baby anyhow? The DNA test says so. What is DNA? I've never seen it, and I'm an accountant. How are you going to believe in something you can't see? I can't see the wind. Ain't that the truth? I ain't never seen DNA or stem cell. Or a law degree for that matter. I'm going to have to retire to my quarters and think about this. Judge Grady has taken Miss Allen back to his quarters to discuss his decision. Let's talk to a few people in the courtroom audience. Sir, what do you think? Who's in the right here? He really has a lot of explaining to do. He pushed her down the stairs. That's no way to get rid of a girlfriend. And what about you, ma'am? I'm going to try that thing with the air filter. We'll be back after this on Just or Unjust. WKTT. Because I love my country, and if you don't, fuck you and your fat wife. WKTT 1066. Talk radio for people who are always right. We're back on Just or Unjust with a case of the scratch truck and the underage fuck. Judge Grady is back in the courtroom with his decision. Okay, all rise. Please be seated. Now rise again. Now get down. Hear me. Hear me. Yeah, that's right. This portion of Just or Unjust is brought to you by America's Next Top Hooker on CNT. Okay, you know how this works. Courtroom audience names the game. The defendant and the plaintiff have to play it. How should we decide this case? Make them eat glass! Put a box of beans on their head! Cannibalism! Let us eat them both! Gladiator cage! Gladiator cage! Gladiator cage! Gladiator cage! Okay, we haven't had this one in a while. Both of you step into the cage. Okay, on the floor, you will find a sword, a mace, a flail, a hammer, and two tridents. Choose your weapon. Okay, now are you ready? Yes. Release the lion. Hey. What the fuck? <laughs> That'll teach you to screw with the man's truck. <laughs> Damn! That lion ripped off her arm. <laughs> Dumb bitch, that's what you get. <laughs> oh, he's coming after you, Mr. Davis. No, no, nice! No, no. By the throat! That's what you get for hooking up with a young girl and stalking her in the supermarket. Let this be a lesson to you all. Two wrongs don't make a right. Damn, I love justice. What did we learn today? We learned that passion can be your undoing. That sensationalist shows like this, celebrity worship, ignoring politics, it feels good. Like I just wake up each morning and wrap my big hands around the American dream and choke the life out of it. Now, studio audience, when the line is done, you guys can go in and eat the rest. Let's see what our studio audience thinks. Sir, was that justice? Sure was. I mean, man, when a couple don't get on, rather than a messy separation, what Judge Grady gave us today was two people being messily separated by lines. That shit was dope. And you, madam? Wow, I knew it. Tastes just like chicken. Great. Just or unjust. See you next time on Just or Unjust. Hello. Ancient people sought meaning in the stars, and you do too. The stars tell you when to hunt, when to harvest, when to make war, or when to drown your children in the bathtub. Hi, this is Beatrix Fontaine, mystic, psychic, surfer of the spiritual realm, and successful syndicated radio host. We are all on a cosmic carousel, and your horse is going up and down until the ride is over and the scary man yells at you to get off. But you still have to pay. This is the lesson for life. Call me now, 212-360-2367. I will give you a personalized automated reading. Find out if you are going to die, or make love, or die making love with a horse. Call me today. Your future depends on it, dearie. Oh, my God! Oh, mercy! 
Man, I'm so excited I could pee. The Venturas Poker Challenge. These athletes are incredible. Man, watching other people play cards is so exciting. You know, I have a small pair, but I talk a good game. Hey, that's what it's all about. That and smoking and drinking yourself into an early grave. The Venturas Poker Challenge. Only on Weasel. Don't miss it. WKTT. Because foreigners don't bathe as often as we do.